<coughs> Hello, welcome back. So, in the last episode, we, um, fought our way through some flood. The Halo ring is uh, about to fire, destroying the flood and anything in its area. And because it's not finished, it is slowly, it's going to blow itself apart along the arc with it. And we took Johnson was killed, we got his Warhog, and we're now dropping towards the Ford unto Dawn, which we are now at. So let's jump and get out and get the hell out of here and back to Earth. Got it, Chief! Jump! Floor it! Right into the hangar! Whee! make it. It's been an honor serving with you, John. For us, the storm has passed, the war is over, but let us never forget those who journeyed into the howling dark and did not return. For their decision required courage beyond measure, sacrifice and unshakable conviction that their fight, our fight, was elsewhere. As we start to rebuild, this hillside will remain barren, a memorial to heroes fallen. They ennobled all of us, and they shall not be forgotten. I remember how this war started, what your kind did to mine. I can't forgive you, but you have my thanks for standing by him to the end. Hard to believe he's dead. Were it so easy? Things look different without the Prophet's lies clouding my vision. I would like to see our own world, to know that it is safe. Fear not, for we have made it safe. By your word, Arbiter. Take us home.
The Arbiter knows the Chief's not dead. Were it so easy to kill the Chief. There is a cutscene at the end, but we're going to skip it, because we got to do one more thing. Also, a lot. Wait, is he going to skip it? Pretty sure it does, yep. So many people thought the Chief died when this first game first came out, because they skipped the cutscene at the end. But a lot happened from that little moment of seeing the fort unto dawn land on Earth to that memorial. A lot. You see my little microphone in the corner to the connect. <coughs> so, what happened? I don't want to start here. In between in there was uh, crap. Hold on. So yeah, okay. The other Spartan two surviving Spartan twos. They left Earth to find Doctor Halsey, who was on the planet Onyx, and the planet Onyx. As I'm pretty sure I said earlier, is a Forerunner Shield world, and they got trapped on it. Well, during the months in between the moment Arbiter lands on or Earth, back on Earth, into that memorial, they got out, and the other Spartan twos were in fact at that memorial service. Meanwhile, the Arbiter and, and like going on back between those times. The Arbiters trying to reunite the elites and tell them that, convincing them that they need to work with the humans. Because without the humans' help, they won't make it. They don't, don't know how to do anything on their own anymore. For years, the Prophets and the rest of the Covenant is doing it for them. At the same, the Lord Hood and the Arbiter are trying to... The most they got so far was a... Ceasefire. All the elites in the Covenant that follow the Arbiter agree to the ceasefire. No, but not all of them while you're still fighting some in Halo 4. They still believe in the great journey, basically. Just not the cover of the prophets. <coughs> the, um... That's also at the same time. There's a group of elites that... They're still blinded by the religion. And they'll kill anyone who causes problems for Forerunner stuff. They're terrorists now. Oh, that's a nice start on it, starting with me. But, um, Oni, the Office of Naval, Naval Intelligence, is supporting them with weapons. So they want to keep the elites crippled so, so they don't rebuild quick enough. So, you know, the Chief and the Arbiter are not going to be happy about that when they find that. Okay, so, let's go back to the seventh terminal. <laughs> and read Mendicant Bias's message for us. Don't fall off, cat. Oh yeah, and the brutes and the elites are, are full-blown war and everything. Lord Hood and the Arbiter are kind of friends Wait. now. What's that? The Arbiter won a, a fight, apparently won a great fight with the help of the UNSC Infinity, which is a massive ship, which we will see in Halo 4. A lot, there's a lot going on between the five years between this game and Halo 4. <coughs> had we acted sooner, had we acted more slightly, living in the past, there is a luxury none of us can afford. We must learn from it, but we cannot live there. It is impossible to plan for the now. Blah blah blah. Oh. <coughs> oh, I didn't read the read text this time. It was meant to get by us speaking to me again. Ah, yeah, here's the message. You don't know the contortions I had to go through to follow you here, Reclaimer. I know what you're here for. What position do I take? Will I follow one betrayal with another? You're going to say I'm making a habit of turning on my masters. 
But the one that destroyed me long ago in the upper atmosphere of a world far distant from here was an implement far cruder than I. My weakness was my capacity, unintentional though it was, to choose the flood. A mistake my makers would not soon forgive. But I want something far different from you, Reclaimer. Atonement. And so here, at the end of my life, I do once again betray a former master. The path ahead is fraught with peril, but I will do all I can to keep it stable, keep you safe. I'm not so foolish to think this will absolve me of my sins. One life hardly balances billions. But I would have my masters know that I have changed, and you shall be my example. That is the message from Mendigate Bot. He is the one that sends us to Requiem and starts the events of Halo 4. And we'll see what happens from there. But, I'm going to end the recording now, continue the rest of this level on Legendary, and at the time, tack on the ending of this episode, the cutscene after the credits that you see on any difficulty, plus the legendary ending. So, <laughs> that ends this ser Halo series Let's Play until Halo 4. Thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye. Chief? Can you hear me? I thought I'd lost you, too. What happened? I'm not sure. When Halo fired, it shook itself to pieces, did a number on the Ark. The portal couldn't sustain itself. We made it through just as it collapsed. Well, some of us made it. You did it. Truth and the Covenant, the Flood, it's finished. It's finished. I'll drop a beacon, but it'll be a while before anyone finds us. Years even. I'll miss you. Wake me. When you need me.